Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, none of those. Today, um, I want to talk to you about the book Bomber by Len Dayton. So whilst I talk about all different kinds of books um, on the channel, um, you know, I read quite widely. Um, the, the label, if you like, for the channel has always been and always will be crime pulp horror. So those are the kind of books I tend to review. Um, it's rare for me, apart from the disturbing books, which, are, you know, there's kind of a bit of an overlap with horror really, isn't there? But apart from those, every, every book I review on the channel really is, is crime pulp or horror. Um, I may read other books, I may talk about other books in my wrap-ups, I may even do top tens about other books, but Crime and horror are really the, the centre of the channel, and so that's the kind of books I review. Um, but this is a book that I've read recently that was so good, I felt like I needed to, to speak about it in a review um, and not just cover it in a wrap-up. Um, this really was a fantastic novel, and, and the kind of book I really, really love in that it is a, you know, it's a piece of, it's a, a work of popular fiction um, written by somebody who was a, you know, a great craftsman, um, you know, not necessarily an artist, but somebody who really understood the craft of writing um, and who makes a, you know, a really engrossing and entertaining story that also manages to, you know, impart a bit of a of a deeper message, um, in this case, about about war. Um, so a fascinating book um, and definitely, definitely worth reading. Um, so let me talk to you a bit about the book. So, so published in 1970, Len Dayton, if you don't know the name, is a, a like a British thriller writer who's best known for his spy novels. Um, so wrote you know a few dozen spy novels um, as well as a few war novels, of which Bomber is one. Um, so the book um, is set in 1943. Now, and, and 1943 to me feels like a you know feels like a long time ago. It feels like history, whereas 1970, which is only three years before I was born, feels relatively recent. And I appreciate for many people watching, younger people watching, 1970 probably feels like ancient history. But to me, it feels you know it it feels a hell of a lot closer than 1943. In reality, of course, it's only 27 years closer than 1943. Um, so, you know, Dayton wrote this really not that long after the end of the Second World War. So the book is about um, an RAF bombing raid on Germany. So on a, on a small town in Germany. Um, and what's fantastic about it is that it it's only takes place in, in the space of like a 24-hour period. And as you can see, it's, it's a reasonably long book. It's like nearly 500 pages long. Um, and, and Dayton uses those 500 pages to give you pretty much a minute by minute account of what happens during that bombing raid um, from you know start the starting point of the flight crew preparing uh, preparing to take off to you know everything that, that follows on from that in, in a huge amount of detail um, and that's what makes it fascinating and, and he has that skill as a writer that he can he can give you all that detail without it becoming boring. Um, and, and the way he does that is by giving you characters who you really connect with. Um, and and you know, this book has probably hundreds of characters in it. And, and many of them, there are a few core characters, particularly the flight crew and some of the people on the ground in Germany, who you kind of follow through the book. But there are tons of other characters as well and plenty of scenes where none of the main characters appear. But he has that skill of being able to introduce you to somebody and enable you to make a connection with that character very quickly so you care about what they're doing and, and also to to knit together all of the pieces of the story so that you understand that this this character who you're reading about now who you know doesn't necessarily even know any of the other characters how the the actions that they're taking will have an impact on the other characters in the book so he he, he knits that all together beautifully it's, it's meticulously you know clearly meticulously researched um, and as I say, very well written as well. Um, and he uses this, you know, all the information he's gleaned about, you know, what happened in, in raids like this to really suck you into it and make you feel completely absorbed and, and present in the action. Um, and that includes, you know, that, that detail includes a, you know, like technical details about the planes and things like that. But also he doesn't, he, he, he's not afraid to show you the horrors of war. This is certainly not a book that glamorises war in any way. 
and you know when people die in this in this book they die in horrible ways he he goes into quite in-depth descriptions as to you know the things that happen happen to to people when they die and you know why they die in the way they do and and how the the events of the book lead up to their death um so everything feels very nicely pulled together and and the thing that's wonderful about it as well is that he does you know this is not a book celebrating the RAF or just about the RAF he talks a lot about the the people on the ground in in Germany and and Holland as well which the planes fly over um and you know the impact of of the bombings on them um the impact of the war more generally on them um so you know all the characters in this book come across as as real people that you can you can understand their you know their their motivations their emotions even even if they're only on you know in the book for a few pages um it really is excellently written in that respect and that gives it you know real power um you really feel like you understand what it was like for these people now clearly you know me as someone you know sitting here in in 2020 i can't really know what it was like either to to fly in a bomber or to you know to be a civilian hearing the planes coming overhead and you know knowing that bombs are going to start falling um but he he pulls you into it in a way that i think is quite rare in a book and and gives you know a book like this that is about something really important um, you know the horrible things that human beings can do to each other when they feel that they are justified in doing them, um, and you know the, the the people in the plane feel like they are doing the right thing, um, but they you know they manage to disassociate themselves from the civilians on the ground who are going to get you know blown apart and have their lives devastated by the bombs that they're dropping, and that you know that's the nature of war, isn't it? The nature of war is individuals having to put aside their humanity um in order to to do the thing that they they feel is right and are being told is right um and that's i think a really powerful and important message and, and one that it's easy for us to to forget about when we're watching you know the kind of more jingoistic you know glamorized kind of war film um so i, re- I really think this is an excellent book um, about a you know a very important topic and and it's one I would thoroughly recommend to um, to anybody. I I did a buddy read of this with one of my subscribers DDB um, and I think he enjoyed it perhaps even more than I did. So I, I gave it five stars. I know he did too. Um, I really do. I'd really do recommend it if you have an interest in this kind of thing at all. But also if you just like popular fiction because it's a brilliant piece of popular fiction. Okay, time for a random book from the shelves. Uh, this time I've got Trial by Battle by David Piper, which is another book about the, the Second World War and another book that has that, that feeling of realism that, that Bomber has. So this is about um, like infantry soldiers um, in Malaysia um, and was written even closer to the end of the Second World War than, than Bomber was. So this was written in 1959. Um, really gripping, claustrophobic kind of a book. Um, about you know what it's like to be a soldier um, you know in the jungle in a war Um, absolutely fantastic stuff so I hope you found that interesting let me know if you've read Len Dayton I'm keen to read more by him I think I've only ever read one other book by him which was SSGB Um, but I do have some of his books on my Kindle so I I think I will be dipping into those soon Um, but yeah as always thank you very much for watching hope you're safe and well out there hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon cheerio